my area is marketing and I've zoned in and my my big um uh prediction for 2025 is the scale of um, hyper personalization in marketing. And um, so what I mean by that is that it's it's the next level of um, tailoring customer experience and um, not just segmenting audiences into groups and um, but delivering truly unique uh, one to one interactions in real time across every touch point actually. And um, just some examples of this. Um, imagine a website that adapts dynamically to what you're looking for. So it's showing different content based on your um, browsing behavior and your preferences. Um, an AI powered shopping experience. We're seeing this already where the recommendations aren't just about what you bought before, but um, uh, what's trending in your area and what matches your style. Um, Personalized search engines. Um, well, we're seeing that already with the likes of Perplexity um, that offer uh, and other AI driven search engines that don't just give generic answers, but respond specifically to uh, your needs and context. So this isn't just wishful thinking. It's happening because uh, AI make it possible. Um, until recently, this level of personalization wasn't practical because it required uh, processing massive amounts of data and making decisions in real time. But AI has changed all of that. And I suppose in three big ways it's changed that in that um, it can analyze data at scale and it can spot patterns and preferences in ways that humans couldn't um, it can adapt in real time. So AI systems can adjust messaging offers and um, content dynamically um, as customers interact with them. And um, the good news is it can integrate seamlessly and um, AI can now plug into existing tools and uh, workflows, which um, allow businesses to add this hyper personalization without needing to, to reinvent their whole systems. So we're seeing it already um, in AI search, you know, um, I, I'm not sure if, I, if many people know it, we all do perplexity and how AI search works. It's I suppose it's the new um, it's the new SEO. It's called a GEO, a generative engine optimization. And um, we're seeing AI driven shopping and um, and of course AI agents in in customer service. And um, companies are rolling out AI agents and um, that can handle complex customer and um, queries and recommend products. And that is going to get more sophisticated in in, in 2025. So um. So why I think it will be critical in 2025 is that um, customers are going to expect it. You know, they're going to demand if they get a personalized one to one. I, uh, I, 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 I think it's happening already. And um, it's so it's no longer a nice to have, but it's it's an expectation. And um, I think it's also I'd like to get the message across that this isn't just for the big organizations. It's for everybody. And in, in fact, smaller businesses can adapt this. They're more agile and they can adapt it more freely so they can really we're already you know, working with businesses to deliver kind of um, tailored recommendations that drive their sales and um, they use um, AI to create dynamic email campaigns and uh, and even build like the real time chatbots that can adapt to individual customer needs. So I think hyper personalization, it's going to be huge. And um, I think that it's going to set the bar really high and um, it does come with challenges for, for businesses. I mean, they're going to have to. Um, you know, I think their whole area around data quality is, is something that they should really be addressing now and get in preparation for 2025, because um, many businesses are, are adopting, are looking to adopt AI. But actually, I think with something like 13 percent are saying that they are actually data ready. So um, I would be advising companies to actually get data ready <laughs> for 2025 because AI agents are coming and um, hyper personalization is there. I think it's not just a, bird, a buzzword anymore. It's the future of marketing, actually. And um, uh, it will define how businesses interact with their customers and drive loyalty, engagement and growth. And I think that businesses that embrace it will stand out and those that don't will lag behind. So my question exactly. to you is, what are you doing to get hyper personalized in 2025? <laughs>